Exactly. So I expect a lot of one base, one base play just as Mr. Remo Demo. Here we go, everybody. In the upper right hand side, the uh, last remaining hope of the Night Elves. Lolai at Colorful out. Only Kaho remains alive and he's the strongest of the bunch. On the up bottom left hand side, playing for Team Aurora or the Aurora team. I'm still not 100% sure what it is. It doesn't matter. It's happy. Going for a normal ghoul build opening. This one we should be expecting every single map here. Anything else would be strange. I think Wonder has been experimenting a bit with Ted Fiends again, but uh, they were never ever good against Night Elf, so no reason for anything like that here. Biggest question is what's the Night Elf first hero going to be? Demon Hunter is expected. Demon Hunter is confirmed. On Tide Hunters, perhaps we're going to see a Keeper, but other than that, it should be Demon all the way. I would think so. Kaho, one of the best Demon Hunter players. And uh, even in other matchups, doesn't embrace the Keeper too much anymore. I wonder, with two days' time to prepare, or one, one day time, how much time was there really to come up with new stuff that challenges Happy? He knew that he had to prepare for a Night Elf, as if he has to prepare for a Night Elf, you know, by, by getting into that mental state. Clearly the favorite, a Kaho win would be a gigantic surprise, but I want to see him win so that Razor Moon eats a sock. With ketchup, so it should be really tasty actually. Yeah? Depending you want, you want to do that at Rara? Eat one of my socks? With ketchup? Um, I think I will leave that to the professionals, that being <laughs> Razor Moon. And when it comes to eating strange things, you have uh, more experience than me. I remember a time when you used to eat, uh, in the early days of Back to Warcraft, Neo once ate a, a wrapping of a McDonald's burger because he lost a bet. That was a fun day. Yeah, it didn't even taste the difference between burger and uh, the wrapping. Yeah, that's the thing about McDonald's, you know, it's... Uh, not the most amazing cuisine ever. Except if they sponsor a tournament, then they're great. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. During the time that they sponsored the ESL Meisterschaft, they were amazing. 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 I'm more of a KFC guy myself, just uh, on a little side note. Happy here, saying the TP early, creeping small camps at the start. Loves those circlets. Got the first circlet already, as the tech is beginning. Unusual creep out here by Happy, going for the Tuscar right away. You know, it's almost an opportunity for a steal, maybe, but never mind, it's uh, no mana burn. It is eva uh, Immolation Evasion, as often by Kaho, putting in lots of damage early. Uh, can he get a ghoul? He does. Can he fight out, though, or is that a TP? Detonate! Oh my god, he sniped that wisp before the detonate! That would have been a money move! But instead, he's getting surrounded. Still tons of damage. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting so hard for the elves, but it doesn't really matter. Tuska may be getting a little bit of damage in, but in the end, only one ghoul fell. Crisis averted. Yeah, lots of damage done here by the Demon Hunter 2300 already, but it's not very consequential damage now, is it? The ghouls can just go back home on Blight, they're slowly gonna heal up, and they're all gonna be healthy once more, and having a big smile on their faces soon again, which suits them so well with those pearly whites. 100% correct! So, Kaho used a lot of Moon Juice, um, has to be very, very careful, which is not necessarily what you want. Also, creeping at the moment seems to be a little problematic and happy. Can just fall back, let the Blight do all the work over time, rotate ghouls in, rotate ghouls out, and work on his level 3. Big Mana, Claws, Mantle, Socklet. <laughs> what are these items, dude? <laughs> They're very good. Um, I don't know how much you know about items, but they are very good. That's the Infi DLC right here. Class plus 8 next. That would be pretty funny. Great awareness though. Really good scout here by Kaho. Sees exactly where Happy is and this should be able to be prevented. Yep, nicely done. Stops Happy from getting level 3. But he's almost there, dude. Happy every time, able to creep so quick. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, just one wisp or something would be enough. The second wisp detonate was a lot better, by the way. Naga second is also the norm, I guess, if you don't expect 
Garg's Naga is just a lot of control, and that seems to be exactly what Kaho wants. No Ultra Vision at the moment, I think this won't change uh, for quite some time. Lore's coming for Dryads, and then what? Naga second for Happy as well, he knows there's no boots or mana burn on the enemy's side to threaten him. The Naga here for him is very effective. The concern is always that if the enemy demon gets level 3 and boots with burn, the Naga's gonna be in danger. But here, Happy Naga is gonna not need those boots, saves the resources, has a faster attack and gets the last hit here. No Claws was 8, but also Ring of Region. Pretty damn nice. Well, depending on who you ask, some people say it's a C tier item. C tier item, boys, that's right. Still baffling. No boots. Um, good control. Happy Acolyte ready for the block. Oh, Not the bad. The play of the game, and he gets it for sure. You know how to, has he resigned already? Oh, GG it is after six minutes. Quick day at the office today on Marathon. <laughs> Look how joyous he is once again. So proud of himself. Uh, one move after the next. So well that I did this so well. It's going through his head. Yo, this could have been quite rough for Happy if not for the snipe on the Wisp at the creep spot. That prevented yeah. so much damage, made it so the Demon Hunter is um, surroundable with all the skeletons. Then he had to TP out. And from there on out, it was just uh, a, bit, a bit hopeless, I want to say. Yeah, quick one in the books. Uh, Wonder Boy, not so wondrous just yet on map one. Happy is just, well, deadly as ever. Even the Acolyte joins in the frenzy for the murderous lust against the Night Elf. Second map is going to be his choice. Perhaps that one is going to be favoring him a bit more. Concealed Hill, it shall be. I would love to see him focus more on level 3 Demon. I still think level 3 Demon is the main way you can take control of the game early against the Undead. But it's not really his playstyle right now, right? He's always going for Immolation. He's always going for Ghoul damage. Put pressure on the DK as well. And also Creep, if you can. But of course, with the Immolation start, normally you don't have Mana Burn, unless you want to skip Evasion. But that doesn't seem to be his cup of tea. Yeah, I think uh, retraining at some point is the way to go still. That seemed to be the most successful... But in general, it seems very, very, very rough at the moment for the Night Elves to get anything working, really. It's all about these tiny little nuances and a little bit about items as well. Night Elf... It's, it's, it's a rough time for the Night Elves, let's be honest. Yeah, right now it does seem difficult. And if you're facing Happy, it seems even more difficult regardless of who you are. I'm getting ready to load into map number two. Off we go. Concealed Hill it is. Cow in the bottom left, Happy in the top right. And Cow now, I will be curious to see what his plan is here on his home map pick. Alrighty. Should still be DK Ghouls. Question is if we see some Gargoylios. As Anxiety said, Happy is Lady Garga. Because he, you know. Plays Garks, likes to play Garks. That was funny. Wow, that's uh, that's something. Wow. It's exactly your humor, right? Yep. Yeah, this is the one map where after Aquiles is no longer a thing for Happy, we still do see them. With the fountains, with the healing, with the harass against the Night Elf, and the difficulty for the Elf to expand could be an approach. I wonder where Kaho tries to catch Happy. Depends a bit on his creep route. Where are we going? Green, orange, shop. He has to figure this out, of course. This is uh, number one priority. And then maybe the Wisp detonate works a little better. Maybe you kill a ghoul or two more. And then maybe you got a chance. On this map, if the Demoner asserts pressure on level 2 or even level 1, I guess Happy's creeping should be pretty hard to reach level 3. And of course, the early level 3 DK, when there's no mana burn, is such a dangerous weapon in the earlier tier 2 stages. 
Acolyte being annoying as ever. With the pull, we'll slow this down quite a bit. A little extra XP on the Demon Hunter side. That is quite sweet. 1.3 already. And immolation unlocked. So try to level as fast as possible. No instant aggression. Ancient of War is not getting any last hits. That was well done. Gloves also nice. And happy. Wait, pulling turtles? Yeah, with the coil first, I guess. May as well use the mana region. He knows the mana for him is going to be looking pretty decent, thanks to there being no mana. Burn. Circlet purchase once again. Seems like Happy does this basically all the time these days. Alright, I wonder if he has the time to creep this one? This looks odd. Yeah, there should be no way. Kaho might be baiting in Happy here. To activate the ghoul so he can make use of emulation. Happy is one last hit for the level up. Here comes a wisp again. Okay, let's see if this wisp can get off a money shot. Ooh, almost a steal, but couldn't quite get it. Both heroes now on level two. And Kaho so far preventing the big creep going down. Oh, and it's mana burn this time. No evasion indeed. I think mm. I liked it a lot more. Alrighty. Only... Oh, oh wait, not even the skeleton went down? Okay, that's impressive. <laughs> and now Demon Hunter's got to run. Uh, no TP on Happy, of course, but also not much damage. Kaho relatively conservative with the emulation now. Dodging that surround, that was nice. But yeah, if you use mana burn as well, then of course you're using more mana than with a passive, duh. Um, so you can't do all that AoE damage, which opens up the way for these ghouls. Very low levels here, both stuck on level 2, which is fine for the DK. Having the aura in level 2, actually quite good. Waking up the creeps as well. Cheek cheeky. And we do get boots of speed. Seems like this is actually a rare pickup for Kaho in this matchup. Wants to save the gold normally, but now the Demon Hunter becomes quite dangerous. And perhaps we can look for some kills against the ghouls. Oh, but the archers. Oh, but the archers, again, find themselves in trouble. Very frail, of course. Another one goes down. This will be number two. Kao though also getting a goal. Oh, might be number three here. This will reduce creep speed at the beginning of tier two. Happy dribbling around the arches. A critter is blocking. That's another one. And you know what? This one's also gonna go down. Happy seems to be getting the upper hand here so far of these exchanges. Naga second perhaps on both sides. Happy could go for it. The demon is hurt. Only level two. And there it is, double Naga once more, both confident to keep brawling. Three archers, like how do you want to fight now? Demon Hunter is hurt, can't fight. Naga on her own, not enough. Happy's DK Ghoul play, man, out of this world. Just out of this world. But uh, we're approaching the six minute mark, Kaho in a more, in a, in a less bad position. Than before, but Happy knows how far ahead he is, man. Going for the Ogre. Last hit Kaho now. Would be at least some momentum. Kaho already preventing this Ogre from being taken. I think kind of a big deal. It slows down the momentum for Happy a lot. Also means that Kaho, though, isn't creeping himself at the same time. Demon Hunter getting slowed. No way. Did he get that surround? Against the rocks over there next to the trees. Trying to fight out, though. Might be able to... Happy's holding the surround. Does he have the damage? No way. Gets the TP once again. Um, this is this is a, all a bit problematic, Remo. That was six around, by the way. Yep. <laughs> Dude. <Yo. laughs> Happy showing up here as well. Map one and two. His matchup against Night Elf, dude, it is something to behold. How can you beat him? How can Kaho do it? He's gonna try to now snipe the Ogre Magi himself. With oh. zero yeah, archers. Basically, that, right? This will take some time. Pedicana28, thank you very much for the 35 month resub. Happy everyone's terror, OMG. Surrounded. Oh, 
Uh oh. oh Can he at no. least get the last hit here? Demon Hunter gets it with the mana burn cloak of flames, but he is dead. Don't tell me the Naga is stuck as well. Double surround! Uh, maybe the Naga gets out, but I guess not for too long. Happy here about to pick up the double kill, trying to save the Naga with the Dryad. Not gonna work. And GG it is again. Um, Jesus Christ. The series is 11 minutes old and it's 2-0 happy. Yep, it sure is. <laughs> like, this is kind of getting into the territory of happy versus chic. What's happy versus chic about? Oh, happy versus chic. A, the track record is 68 to 0 in favor of happy. <laughs> And in the Back to Warcraft weekly monthly finals, uh, it was 2-0 after 5 minutes 30 in-game time. That's pretty quick. Man. Yeah. I didn't even adjust the you say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Well. Yeah. I mean, what can you say? It's been a pretty rough one so far. But we're all hoping that Kao was going to show the Night Elves the way to hopefully have a chance against Happy. The one Night Elf to have a shot. So far, the shot is misfiring. Mm -hmm. But um, hey, silver lining. Always here for the silver linings, right? 40 was in a similar position. He was also down 0-2. And then the comeback started. That's right. Yep. Was the game also 10 minutes old? Mm, bit more. A bit more. A okay. bit, tiny, a tiny bit. Dude, whatever I do with these silver linings, it's always wrong. When I say, oh, it's over anyway, here comes Sean Wright saying, oh, Neo, silver lining, silver lining, don't call it over. When I say there is a silver lining, there's another dude in chat that, please, Neo, come on, everybody knows. Like, how am I supposed to do it? Listen. Yeah. Every streak is breakable. Every streak can be brought to an end. Sock versus Moon, not too long ago. Also, you know, until Fortitude finally began his win streak against Happy, he was also losing a lot. That's losing right. a lot, learning a lot. Because you always learn more from your losses than you do from your wins. Let's hope that Kaho can find something here that he can learn from. Because, um, yeah, some studying needs to be done. Something needs to go different. I'm studying, hey. Thank you, Buttcrumbs, for the gifted sub to Carson. Carson will be back tonight for the Map Makers Circus, which is going to be a fun little evening with 4-on-4, four 2-on-2, four, two two, FFA, and 1-on-1 one one, all combined into one beautiful tournament. A beautiful tournament it isn't for either of these players. Both in the lower bracket, fighting for survival, and now Kaho has to win three maps versus Happy. Uh, chance for that, rather limited, but you never know in Warcraft 3. And Kaho reverse sweeped him before. Want to point that out? It happened before. Let's hope it happens again. All right. Let's see if there is a chance for Wonder Boy after all. Time to muster all his confidence and self-belief as we hop onto map number three. Turtle Rock, an old classic. We'll be seeing the old rivalry. Demon Hunter versus DK, nothing changing here. I'm kind of surprised that this is Kaho's map pick, by the way. This can be a very tough map to level up properly. And we've seen when the demon is stuck on level two, he's having a difficult time, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he thinks that creep routes are easily predictable and then at least he might get a good early game. We'll see about that. Thank you, Tony P, for the 10 month. Gang geschehen. All right. Fingers crossed that we get a little, that, that, that we get a mid game. That would be nice. Uh, funny that that is, that that is the uh, aspiration at this point. I can't say, dude. Kubi Cube, thank you for the 39 month. Mm -hmm. 
Starting off with a bit of slow creeping here, of course. No immolation this time. Maybe. Pulling the skill point for now. Yeah, this creep route is easy to read. So he knows exactly where Happy is and when he's at that spot. Whispers in position. Acolyte is down. But yeah, level 1 Demon Hunter doesn't really work too well. There's something at the neighboring position of Kaho. I wonder what he wants to do with that. Might just be a little wisp scout. Happy trying to move on to the next camp, get level 2. Kaho has been willing to take the fight to Happy, be aggressive all the time, but Happy has been defending these plays. Pretty convincingly. Getting the next item here. Claws and mantle. Isn't that something? <laughs> it's pretty good, I would say. Indeed. Demon Hunter, of course, surrounded, but we have a cloak and no reveal. And if you can't be seen, you can't take damage. Well, it's not true, but in this case it is. And thanks to emulation and the pressure here, successfully preventing the level two for the DK, at least for the time being. Happy has a ritual dagger. Can use that here. Everything healing up nicely. Yeah, nice item, that dagger, in the hands of the right person. And Happy is certainly the right person for anything regarding undead. Gets level two, and now shoes on the other foot, because Cow wants to creep, and Happy is harassing. The time was almost perfect to see the acid right there. Trying to kill some archers, but Happy forgot about the dust. I think that's a slight mistake by him. Demoner. Pretty hurt here as well, but so is the DK. And a quick sip from the Moonwell should be able to get him back in fighting shape in no time. I have to get that item though. Some more claws maybe? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's pretty good. He has boots though. Can he still run him down? He's very, very, very hurt. Oh, of course, the Nye with the dagger to also heal up. Demon Hunter can't reach because of the skeleton block. That's pretty well done. I think one ghoul should go down. All right. Come on. Okay. Got one. There we go. Good. That's the kind of success he was hoping for. Yeah, exactly. That's all he wanted. All he needed is an even trade. Uh, could get th the third one here, though. Tier two is done. And there is the frost Wait. attack. No TP. Oh, look at the DK is far away, though. Yep. Could have been dangerous. It might still be dangerous, because, you know, Naga. With plus 13 damage right yep. out of the box. Not I, bad. You know, I kind of hated Happy's 9-minute pushes, because they're so one-dimensional. I start to hate his Naga play. Because it's like, level it's going to be one. 6 minutes and... Is this a this 17... Level 1 Demon Hunter, dude. Yeah. Level uno. Yep. He didn't level up once. It's like he's stuck in first grade. It was a tough time back then. <laughs> he, he needs the turtle for level two. Not gonna get it. Nope. He's, look at his face. Like, it says it all. Head slightly tilted to the side. He's just, like... He's dead inside. <sighs> Happy who's the undead. It's the ironic thing. Okay, Kaho, big play. Kill the DK. That's what he needs. He's gonna lose the Ancient of War. Is he? No, he's going Level 2! Oh, level 2, finally! Let's Got go! Maybe it was even 2. And the DK. Oh! The DK! Oh! Let's go! Go, 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 go! Okay, trades it for the Naga. Finally, something going cow's way. We are so back, boys. We are We're so back. back. Razor Moon, get that sock ready. Get the catch up. Happy gonna go for the tavern res. Very expensive. Another bull killer. Come on. One Let's more. go! Hey! Look at that, baby. Two ghouls and the DK. Happy washed. 
How and pathetic, that was man. one hell of a 180 on this mm -hmm. demoner. We got a mid game, everybody. And tier three on the back of things. Nice. So even ahead of Happy's tier three. He was not spending much, eh? On additional archers or, of course, skipping ultra vision as always. Is it? Is it? I'm not sure who got the last. Cow did. Cow did. With the Dryad here. With Boots here. Oh. oh, let's go. Double kill. Let's go. Damn. Dude, Cow. All of a sudden. Can't Happy play Warcraft. Washing machine. <laughs> Second Tavern revive. That adds up. Boots of speed, guys. Pretty good. Pretty good item. Also, that mana burn is working out quite nicely. Happy tier 3, but only gold for a lich. No, okay, we have one stat here, but not the second one. No destroyer upgrade for a while. It is rather cheap, though. The items are still greatly in favor of Happy for the time being. This was a great start for Kaho, for sure, but it's not necessarily a win yet. Must not get overconfident here. Okay, Brilliant Zora, I love it! I know other Back to Warcraft casters are not too much on the hype train about the Brilliant Zora, but let me tell you that it's pretty what? damn Ooh. good. Huh? Arsene? You as well! No? Or did you change? No, I mean, in a bear mirror it's not good, but every t every other time, bro, okay. sick. And he sold it. Bye bye. <laughs> no, like... uh, too many Carson streams. God damn it. Thank you, SNS, for the gifted sub. So happy now. Um, must be a Subi mask, right? Or Robe of the Magi, something like that. Flute, maybe. Dude, I'm praying to all the item gods in the world. Flute, there we go. <laughs> that cow gets rune braces. What are these braces. items, bro? Are you serious? <laughs> I told you, he he figured out some kind of keyboard combo, like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, to get the items he wants. Yeah, maybe it's the old GTA codes from uh, GTA San Andreas. Square, square, circle, square, up, R2, R2. You made that up now. Yeah, I don't remember those. <laughs> I, I, I don't have autistic enough of a brain to remember those old things. I have an old brain, boys. I forget everything. Cow only scroll of the beast, of course, doesn't help him at all. Okay, we get into Creepcraft. This series now almost as long, or this map now almost as long as the other two combined. Oh, no, oh, wait, did you buy it or did you find it? I think you found it. Mm-hmm. What are these items, dude? This is ridiculous. Uh, yep. He got all perfect items so far. <laughs> okay. We must get one done. Cat nope. guts pipe! No! 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 Not allowed! Come on! I mean, what, what did you expect? Dude, that is ridiculous. Look at his items. This is eight perfect items. He should rename to Lucky. And he's not even smiling about it. Like at some point, shouldn't shouldn't you just like smirk? Or I don't know. No. It's just yeah, I, 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 like, I deserve I this. many camps. I was bound to get some good items. It is all right. He's level four now. Okay. One, I wanted rune braces. We got boots of Kelta last. It's also all righty. Yeah, that's the first good item he found, by the way. Mm-hmm. And now we are firmly in the late game, ladies and gentlemen, another man. Insane, dude. This is just how it's just insane. This looks like marketplace items, like perfect picks, tailor made. Yep. 
But hey, um, already quite a bit of a success for Kao to live at the 12 minute mark. Uh -huh. It really looks like he's hacking. He's like he's item hacking, man. This what? is the most blatant example of item luck I have seen in years. What if there is a secret pattern? Like if you kill that turtle at 12 minutes 49, it's this item and it rotates through the drop table and Happy figures it out as the only player ever. Like in Pokemon Red, when you talk to the dude in Urania City and then you fly to the island, <laughs> you surf along the coast. Yeah. Trigger the bug. Yeah. You found another pair of claws, by the way. Never bad. Both the Lich and the Naga are basically fully stacked. Mm -hmm. And the cut gas pipe. Yep. Well, of mana stealing also kind of nice. Not perfect, but I guess kind of nice. Kamal yeah, has managed to build a big army. He went into the talent play, which can be in theory very good late game. And Happy doesn't have web yet. This game started off so well for Kaho. He got the DK kill twice. Mm -hmm. And Happy's lumber is very low, by the way. Can't really afford web at all. Ooh, that's indeed a problem. But... Still Yo, boy. 65 supply, barreling down towards the Nilo's main base. No level 5. Oh, the ring on the Demon Hunt is actually quite good. Yep. But yeah, you gotta respond now. Roar, use destroyers using... S oh, and not using the Orb of Annihilation, it's disabled. Okay, Moonwell down, here we go. Might be the last fight of the series, but destroyer number one down. Bear in a bit of an unfortunate timing. The talents were caught, but are still up. Still no web. Oh, but now the Nova hits him hard. It's the downside of talent, they are low HP. The Coil Nova Fog Lightning can hit them really hard indeed. DK in trouble once again, might die a third time. Not so clear, he's gonna have the uh, Invo Potion to work with the Demon Hunter. Got the level five. Gonna trigger the Invuln on the Naga, and Kaho might be able to do it here indeed in the end. Lich almost dead as well, and Happy getting kind of owned in this fight. Let's go! Naga down! Oh, Demon Hunter still chasing. He's such a boss. Happy TP's out! Kaho is back, boys! And this is how it started versus Fortitude. Here we go. Wonder Boy is able to take a map. You deserve that, my friend. We have a series, Happy. Remo. With a bit of hubris, overconfidence strikes even the greatest. Um, as he was pushing there into the Nile of Base, didn't respect the TP. He could have pulled back into the better position and then kite properly by just standing there, face taking the damage from the demon, from the bears, from the talons, and stuff died too quick. Demon got level five. And of course, the biggest oversight was not even scouting for talons, not even having web. And that was with 10 out of 10. Perfect items, but Kaho shows that it's not all about luck. That must be a tremendous momentum push. Seeing these items and still prevailing. There was a sick snipe on the first destroyer, by the way. It went down instantly. And also on the ground. Everything looked kind of nice. Of course, fighting next to the moon wells helps a lot. Okay. Okay. I'm here for it. Seal Wop! Thank you for the Prime! Three years, my dude. Haven't been able to watch for a while. Glad you guys are still going strong. Ooh. Very strong. So strong. Ay -ay -ay. Very Ooh. strong, especially over this weekend, as this tournament will be continuing. And we're going to be crowning a champion on Monday, though, right? I think it's Monday? Oh, Sunday. Wait, is it Monday? Championship oh, Sunday. Sunday! Can't do Championship Monday. That sounds bad. Championship Sunday. But uh, 2v2 is Monday, right? No. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's all Sunday. It's what the Liquipedia says, anyways. Ah, it's just guessing. I will ask the admins later. Okay, Robo, Remo, are you ready to jump into the game? I am very much. Here is the game. 
Excited to see where Kaho is going to take it. He just got a shot in the arm. Adrenaline and endorphins flowing now through his system. Can that help him as we get to map number two, Titaners? This is the one map where many Night Elves feel the need that they have to play Keeper. Way better for creeping on this map. The Demon cannot be relied upon. And perhaps the biggest problem, the Undead can easily expand here if there is a Demon. Yeah, that's a bit problematic all in all, but I'm having faith now. I, I want to believe we're two maps away from Razor Moon eating a sock with ketchup on stream. Kaho, please. It doesn't matter if you quit afterwards, if you lose every other game, this is where it counts. DK Ghouls on happy side, and indeed the keeper first by Kaho. This is... Yeah, the norm on this map. Happy is going to be expecting it. He's going to be scouting and confirming it. And the goal for Kaho will be to try to expand normally. But if that is not easily achieved, then I've also seen Kaho play a lot of one base. Yeah, he's probably the only one trying to do that and did so successfully. Clenish Shieldpad is asking, what's the Razor Moon sock reference? Razor Moon decided to uh, shave his head if Kaho wins and eat a sock with ketchup on stream and we all want that we all need that in our lives so go go Kaho say so saying I honestly don't even remember ever remember Kaho beating happy with keeper quite a few wins with Demoner though let me tell you I remember one game that I saw and I couldn't believe my eyes. It was Tidehunters. It was not too long ago, a couple of months. And Kao was playing Keeper, trying to expand. Expansion failed. He had to play one base with tier three bears. And then it was like, all right, this is done. Keeper one base ain't gonna work. Certainly not against Happy. And you know what he won? He won one base with Keeper, which I've never seen anybody else do against Happy. That is certainly when he got my respect. Well, he had it before already, but that was truly amazing. It only happened one time, to be fair, <laughs> but that one time was quite something to behold. Well, if you can do it once, you can do, you can repeat it eventually. And the, the more often it fails, the higher the chances that you will succeed eventually. Is that how it works? Here we go. So, can he find an opening to harass acolytes or herd ghouls in the base? For now, it doesn't look like that. Because Happy is keeping good taps on the keeper with spare ghouls and skellies. Doesn't risk it. Uh, coil last hit. So, DK is making progress. Keeper is making progress. Tier 2 is making progress. Question from Shocky. Was it Demon or second? Yes, it was. Keeper into Demon. Bears one base. Uh oh. Keeper? Yep. Thanks. Both heroes here. Around level two. Happy, really prioritizing scouting early. Really wants to be on the keeper's heels, wants to prevent. Wait. Did he just buy ring and claws from the <laughs> shop? Yeah. Welcome gift for a demon hunter. Take the claw away. From yeah, happy? taking the claw away from happy. Damn. Okay. Dude, this marketplace is uh, in very high regard right now. God, okay. Happy again, though. Circlet, Ring of Superiority, Mantle, and Gauntlet. It's again so good. But Keeper is getting some stuff done. That Entangle forces at least some coils. And you can see how active Happy is being with uh, Acolyte Scouts, Skelly Scouts, Ghoul Scouts looking everywhere. Really, really wants to make sure there's no expansion coming up. Even staffing to the Ghouls in case there's something there. Wait, is he trying to get the Hunter's Hall? Yep. Oh. Kao already with the second one as a backup. Hunter's this... Halls have a lot of HP though. They're kind of tough to bring down. But <laughs> this is Ghouls, Remo. <laughs> there's no limit for Ghouls. Even without Frenzy, so much damage! Yeah, I guess. At what cost, Let's though? Go down. One is down, yep. Second one. A little bit of a detonate. Two goals. Two goals going down, that's not too bad. Not much experience, though. 
Very smart by Kao to build a second Huntress Hall already. So it is a delay on the lore, but not that much on basically no cost. Demon Hunter is going to come in. And the Ancient of War is in position. Some time to breathe for Kao. Happy leaning closer and closer to the screen. You know, that's when things get scary. Some really good items here for Kao. He found a circlet from that camp, so ring, ring. Ring, 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 ring. ring. Oh, Banana oh, phone! Cool <laughs> Banana phone. Happy, of course, with the freedom of not facing mana burn. Coils for days, steals another one. And with that, delays yeah, level three. Please. Demon Hunter is here now. Surprise! But we don't have mana for Entangle anymore. Not the most terrible position, perhaps, for Kahul. Of course, the Dryads are late. That's kind of annoying. He doesn't have map control here, really. Normally, Dryads slow very good here in this tier 2 stage in schools, but he's going to be more focused on creeping anyways. Levels on the Demon Hunter are going to be of crucial importance. But man, he's got really good items. All these small items spread between the heroes going to be very nice indeed. Keep with some good bonus damage. And look at the Demon. Very tanky here with more than 12 armor right away. He needs that. Once again, fingers crossed for Rune Bracers. Especially since he's now low level, he could need even more support than he already got against that Coil Nova nuke that will be coming. As happy against the Keeper first, skipping the Naga. Keeps her for later. Solo experience on the Demon Hunter as it should be. Keep her with a little bit of uh, movement towards the middle for items. What we got? Vamp Aura. Solid. There's no Rune Bracers though. It might be nice for the Demon Hunter, maybe, to heal up a bit. The bears usually don't benefit so much from it because they get kited and nuked quickly. Okay. We have a backup Acolyte already against exactly this play. Any, any chance? No, not really. Okay. A little bit of poking. Distracting happy. Don't let him go into the flow. Demon Hunter needs three ASAP. Especially if the Keeper helps out with Treants, which should be doable here. Getting good experience from the middle. You could also get the Invo Potion if he wishes, which will certainly be near at some point. But the scariest time for Happy is yet to come. With the tier 3 upgrades now, Soon being finished. And Kao moving towards Happy's main. Is he gonna just try to steal the lab creep? Yeah, or is I there think, something more that he intends? I think lab creep it is. Second chance for rune bracers. And I think that is justified. That's good levels. Also stealing XP. Happy on the other side gets consumables. Alright. What we got? What we got? Mantle. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Keeper's gonna have sick right-click. Not too bad, especially if the army sizes stay small. Happy no big mana potion yet, since he started to sell them quite frequently. Great position! Oh, I didn't see that coming! Fiend mauled in seconds. No Naga yet either, by the way. Mm -hmm. And we are nearing the state of the game where the Naga is not going to be worth it anymore, or any third hero, being then underleveled. Of course, the concern is, what is the Keeper really going to do now that there's Destroyers? He's just kind of a glorified right-clicker and orb carrier. And speaking of orbs, Kaho has yet to get a single one. Or a staff, which is why the bear goes down. <sighs> yeah. Spending so much time abroad, not going home. No orb, no staff is indeed a problem. Bears are melting, and so are Kao's chances for the lower bracket semifinal. Oh, Bear might just be able to get away, though the destroyer is chasing. Happy is looking for more kills. The frenzy ghouls, of course, very quick. DK gets a little force. The ghouls now even quicker with a level 2 aura. 
Keeper left behind, very hurt. He's not so tanky. The demon is. Not this guy, though. It's going to cost him the TP in the end. Saving the bear would be grand, mm. but the destroyer gets in one last swipe. And a nice bit of bonus XP for Happy. And indeed, he is not going for a Naga third here. Heavy, heavy, heavy losses. Also, ghouls down need to be rotated out. That was the entire charge of the Wand of the Wind. Cow still fighting, trying to transition into some kind of air. Probably going to be talents once again on one base for the ultra late game. Absolutely necessary. Happy once more with no web. And Kao trying to find some creep spots that are left, but bad news, brother. Happy gobbled that up. And now he's in the north for the red spot. Happy learned his lesson for map number three. He's remaking a late game ghoul. This is rare to see, but he realizes he may need the lumber. Web will be crucially important if we do get talents. Which it seems like we will. An Ancient of Wind is now coming towards the very end game stages. And both sides gonna have level four heroes, as it seems, uh, on both of them, on the dual heroes. But Happy does have a bit of an experience lead, which might mean a faster level five for him. Well, well. <sighs> What's the way out? Any chance for laming, Zeppelin drops? Uh, I don't think Happy will expose his army to where he can be caught again. No chance for an expo, really. Kaho staying in no upkeep, getting a little bit of gold, tracks Happy's acolytes. There's an expansion coming up because Happy, of course, knows that this is a possible play to play very, very, very defensive and then spend all your gold for one big fight. But yeah, with an expansion, you put some pressure on the Night Elf to move out. Not coming though. This Again, DK is Omega tanking, by the way. Yep. Didn't sell the Helm of Valor. He's got the gauntlet, he's got the ring. This should be an impossible to kill target. Maybe also their map 3 has left its mark. Uh oh. Cow finally got the double level 4. No TP. Very important. You gotta run, Keeper. Oh. Surrounding with fiends is hard. Oof. No coil anymore due to the mana burns. Demon needs a staff keeper. Move back, move back quick. And he got it. Nova though, invo potion drained as well. But Kao saves his tournament life. Yeah, that was scary right there. And you can see Happy's willingness to punish every little thing. Finds the heroes, almost gets the kill. Forced that big invo potion. That big invo is now gone. Demon, of course, is very tacky. But the keeper, not so much. Kao is going to be have to. Gonna have to be careful with his keeper positioning. <sighs> Game on the knife set. Happy in supply is getting ahead. Ten supply gap still. Talent's coming out. Kaho thinks, nope, I don't have the time. I can't bank. Happy's gonna rip my head off. The burns are good. Only one coil for the next fight, and that's it. And still no web. Happy's lumber is low. He brought the ghouls into the middle. Maybe a bit of an error here. The talents caught him off guard on map three. Would be kind of weird this if this happens again here. That might be the big issue. But then, even though the talents are out and there's no web, you still need to set them up perfectly. This time, they're not getting caught by fork lightning. That's good. Yeah. Still by a strong Nova. Yeah, Happy's mana is low. He wasn't able to sit next to his statues and regenerate, really. He's been running across the map looking for openings. This is not the worst position for Kaho. Because I, I can't believe there's no web. This seems like such a big mistake. Yeah, Happy cancels the Fiend. Wants to get the lumber for web. He miscalculated the lumber. All right. Gets the Coil Nova out on the Demon Hunter. 50%. Hoping for some redo. <sighs> Kao, how much time you got? Clock is ticking. Web is coming. No man on the lich anymore. No Nova to threaten these talents. How many do we have in total? Web is a quick Four. upgrade. It's not that many. Web is finishing. Cow is missing the timing. Of wind kill was a really big deal. Web is now through, and the first one is caught. 
These talents cannot be remade. The first one is gone right away. Happy's heading backwards. Fiend, destroyer army, along with the statues. Good movement on the Demon Hunter. Despite the boots, gets in a great position, gets the mana burn off, and Happy's completely dry on mana for the time being. Okay, bears pushing forward, gets another statue, that's a big one. AoE attacks on the bears, of course. Talents threaten an attack. He sees that there's no mana on the Lich, so maybe that is the chance, but moving out of fiend range is a big question. Long range, nicely done. Illusion on the talent as well. And the fiends, man, they are struggling. So is the demon hunter, so is the Lich. This game might be decided here soon. Little bit of healing against the coil. Roar, reapplied, Lich, dead! Oh. Despite the invo potion oh. of the DK naked oh my god he might be doing it again dude the one base keeper are you serious Don't get a huge much. kill here the town's now caught though the dk gets level five happy trying to get to the tavern but he's too broke at the moment the lich died with the invo potion couldn't pass it fast enough kaho the one guy who can beat happy in a micro battle he's making that statement true today and kaho takes a huge supply lead Wonder Boy does it again. Cannot believe what we're seeing. Lich is back, no mana, and at 50%. So many fiends falling. Did he rebuild an Ancient of Wind for talents is the question. 14 food lead. Demon Hunter, strong, also naked. Keeper has the staff, should be able to get the DH out if necessary. Heal scroll as well, so good. Lich on the menu one more time. This time he can pop the potion, but it's only seven seconds. Nuke! GG! We got Oh, game five! <laughs> okay. Kaho takes this map. Wonderful burns. The low man on Happy here really being the crucial decider in the late game. But also one questionable move by Happy. Never went for a Naga. If he had Cold Arrow, if he had Fork Lightning, this could be a way different story. And Kaho beats Happy a second time with Keeper, one base. The Tide Hunter special. Absolute giga chat, this Kaho kid. I thought when Web was online, this has to be Happy's game, but ah uh ah, -uh, hero focus again seals the deal eventually. This he's so good at just fighting, it's unbelievable. From 2 0 to 2 2, and this is exactly what happened in the winner bracket semi final versus Fortitude. Happy is facing elimination. If he loses the upcoming map, it's the first time in TP League history that we, do, that we don't have Happy in the finals. Oh boy. Happy, you really. It turns out vulnerable this year. Last year was a different story in the TP League. Happy was utterly dominant, but now we see with Fortitude, now we see with Kaho, I guess even to a lesser extent with Fly, that Happy can be beaten. Group stage, of course, also. Sock beating him and Focus getting close. Happy is not the only kid of the block anymore. Someone posted it on Reddit that he foresees a grand final or top three without Happy being in a lower bracket with Kaho, Sock, well, now Fly, and the loser of Lin and Fortitude. Who the stakes are high. Knowing that this happened exactly two days ago, will Happy lose momentum? It is Hammerfall, though. And that is a very, very good map for Undead in this matchup. Very, very, very good move also by Mikey Likey 27 Thank you very much for the three-month resub. Let's go, Kaho. Is it gonna be the good Friday for Kaho? Is he nailing Happy to the cross? Eliminating him here? Is Happy gonna be back three days later? It would be the most amazing of Fridays for Kaho indeed. Damn, dude, what a showing for him. After those first two maps, <laughs> I thought this was done. Yep. This was a brutal display. Dude, we are one map away from Razor Moon eating a sock. <laughs> With ketchup. It can happen. It can happen. How would you prepare that? Would you cook it? Would you blend it? Would you... What would you do? We might find out soon as our fifth decider map is on happy against the ropes this is normally where he delivers but in the upper bracket against fortitude here he crumbled on the map five decider 
All right, chat, who believes? Who believes in Wonder Boy? And who thinks that Happy is gonna ruin the Easter party? Imagine you're Team Aurora and you think you pick up a person who's winning every single tournament in their game and then the first tournament he plays for you, he gets eliminated lower bracket round two. Yeah, could have been even worse. Could have been the group stage almost. <laughs> yeah. Was one map away there as well. Yep. All right, let's see if... Happy can buckle down now. By the way, Kaho taking a page out of Moon's book. He's going for a neutral hero play. Well, or it might be Lawlight's book. Um, Moon's playstyle was Fire Lord first. By Lawlight, we saw a lot of Panda first lately, which was really cool. Sometimes successful, sometimes not so. But yeah, Tavern Hero it is for sure. Okay, I think he's more on the Fire Lord train still. Especially on Hammerfall, this can be incredibly good. It, it has seen better days. Happy knows now that it's a tavern build order and might have to adjust. Fortitude played a very out of meta strategy on game five to catch Happy off guard. Kao's trying to do the same. I'm gonna have the answer, but here it is soon. Especially against Orc, I've criticized Happy before. For I think sometimes he prioritizes circlets too much and doesn't prioritize creeping enough. Level 2 for the DK is such a big, big deal. You want to get level 2 right away, as soon as you can. It is the Fire Lord first, and no engine of war creeping. Ooh, this is interesting by Kao. He's creeping the middle green camps, trying to take the claws away from Happy. I think that's very fun. All right, usually these Hydra camps were used to catch the ghouls because they're all hurt from the poison. Not the case here, no Ancient of War, and it is the Claws. Of course, it's happy side of the map. Of course, it has to be Claws. Yo, because this camp takes a lot of time. Five creeps, one of them very sturdy, and everything is hurt, so Happy can't engage immediately. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. This early in the game, like right away the first creep camp, that's when the Undead can only really use three ghouls because of lumber needs. So the first camp is kind of guaranteed. If the father also gets a second, that would be level two. But Happy is now here to contest. Alrighty, Turtle up for grab still. Happy gets level two. Wisp in position, but there's... Oh, block, block, block. Nicely done, creating some distance between Archer and DK. Coil had to be used against that Wisp, and that is level two, and it is another close Damn. of attack. That's some sick damage right here. This Fire Lord is gonna be a big threat. Lama spawn and incinerate. The downside is that now you're going to be left uh, it left in an awkward position with the Fire Lord uh, in the Over Venom late game. And the Lava Spawn are going down here pretty quickly. A solid, ex falling. solid experience, of course, these Lava Spawns. But he made a he did a very good job in having them all split. Very efficient Fire Lording on Kao's side. And Happy didn't get much done with that Creep Jack. I would love to see Boots on this Fire Lord. You would love to see boots on every hero at all times. No. <laughs> yes. Not I agree. Boots and DK. <laughs> Stupid dog. Now, but boots now on the Fire Lord would make him a big threat to chase down for ghoul kills and for a Demon Hunter second, also really good. It must be a Demon Hunter second later on. Under spells, too scary. This was the reason why he won that four, I would say, because he got in great mana burns uh, before the big fight really rolled out. Happy miscalculating a coil damage. Yeah. Odd. I think also miscalculating this attack timing. So close to the Nile of main base with the Fire Lord having this great damage. Happy can't do anything here. It would have been perhaps better advice to just creep. Wasting a bit of time here. Happy almost, almost, I want to say, looking a bit nervous. I was a bit scared there that the Ancient of War denies the creep, but no, Fire Lord got it. Ring of Protection, amazing. Oh, I'm getting nervous, dude. I'm getting nervous. Lady Luck now on Kaho's side. The Warcraft gods praying themselves for Kaho. Well, as I say it, the clock, of course, not that good. But it's a fast level 3 for the Fire Lord. Okay, Lava Spawn's getting stronger. 
Naga second by Happy, trying to fight fire with ice. We'll see how well that goes. And yeah, this is again... crazy. Look at these hits, baby. Right? Incinerate damage out of this world. It might also be the plus 10 damage that he found. Nah. Oh, careful now. The cloak might help. There is another dust, though. I can't rely on that. Artisar here, maybe TP, but trying to make it as expensive as possible. Coil ready. On a ghoul. That is... Oh! TP. Of course, yes, indeed. One archer here might be falling. A little bit of miscalculation here by Cal. Stepping forward a bit too far. If the archers had been right behind the fire lord, I think they might have been safe, but the archers were a little bit too far away. And that TP being gone could be a problem later. Demon Hunter now. Out. Mana burns. Stacking up. Happy's win streak versus Night Elf lasts for four months to the day. November 2023. Was rarely as close as today. Oh, no TP anymore. The next creep, Jack. That's going to be the next kill on the archer. Oh, that's level three. Big kill right there. Kaho's momentum seems to be slipping away. Dude, the final right clicks are still pretty crazy though. Yep. And Demon Hunter's getting more and more tanky. Yeah, love these items. Ring and parry up. Great for the demon. Nah, guys. Very squishy. No boots for her. No statues yet. Happy with a quick fiend transition as ghouls are too squishy at this point. Blocking himself a little bit. Incinerate damage. Another ghoul down. Waiting for coil. We have a level 2 coil. Carl has got to be careful. Reinforcements coming in after the creep is done. And tier 3 at one third. Happy almost done with the tech. It looks like Happy is really sacrificing his own creeping here in the mid game with a primary objective of slowing down the Demoner. And that was successful. Demoner is still only level 1. He will get level 2, of course, but the question is will he get level 3 before the timing hits? Happy was looking for the item. Yeah, for a long time, actually. Okay. Happy has a tech lead, has a supply lead. And it's only a Fire Lord. But that Demon Hunter is making progress. Same for Happy, moving into the middle now. Some consumables up for grabs. Frenzy and Lich coming. But Kao is also buying some time. His tier 3 approaching the finish line. It's going to be a micro battle again. It has been every single time so far. Mass 1 and 2, we didn't get to see a late game because Happy just decapitated Kao way too quickly. But now we get it again. A high level Demon Hunter was the key to success in the successful maps for Kao so far, along with a couple of hero kills. And he got the level 3. Happy's mid game harass didn't really accomplish it. Nope, not at all. And Fire Lord level 4. Would love to see Soulburn just for the split second on the silence. Happy gets two consumables, big healing, big mana. That's grand. Tier 3 is done. We might see an orb soon. What's Kao's next move? It seems like Happy has now decoded the last few maps and the answer was that once we're too late into the ultra late game, 60 supply plus, Kao was able to pull ahead. Maybe the answer now is to fight earlier in a more scrappy fashion. More ghouls, hero battles, a 50 supply and lower. Happy has a bit of a supply lead here, waiting for the Lich to join, bringing the orb. Happy is ready to dance. This Kao though, he has an invo potion staff orb. Army isn't there yet, but yeah, let the let the burn games begin. Number one priority here, statue, or that was at least a safe target. But Kao has to prepare Happy for the fight, and Happy is giving him the time. Could be a wonderful creep jack opportunity here. Happy trying to get the turtle, but that also doesn't quite work out. Dima Hunter gets in the right spot, gets off the mana burn. Still quite healthy. The rejuvenation here working out well. DK low mana already, but this time he's got the big mana. Right big on. Mana, big healing. So helpful. Heal scroll as well. Downside of the Fire Lord is of course very little control. No disable, no slow. Yeah. No AoE here. No AoE. I mean, fire, no incinerate no AoE. Lightning. <laughs> okay. 530 damage when you get a kill. If you get a kill. <laughs> yes. 
Only level one. Yeah, the ghouls here are a big danger. We get dust against Burrow, which is not there yet. Oh, destroyer caught. That's another coil. It's all about these tiny little nuances. Supply is dead even. Cow with a defend upgrade. I like that a lot. Able to squeeze that in, gonna have great value. The Dryad Bear Army. No unit died in minutes now. Lich still 0 XP. Okay, we are committing. Let's see what Wonder Boy is able to do now. Demon Hunter in the middle of it all. No immolation, of course. Lack of AoE. Remo mentioned it. Heal scroll. Perfect. So much to stay. Hot landing comes in, more and more bears are falling, almost no bears left in this fight, the staff was already used. And this bear goes down as well, and the ghouls can't be dealt with, at least not quickly enough. The heal scroll, as you mentioned, absolutely gloriously timed here by Happy, worked out perfectly. The Breath of Fire slash Fog Lightning is badly, badly lacking. Fire Lord was great in the early stages, but now he's not contributing much at all. Demon Hunter trying to turn it around. There is a big heal potion though. Invable use, seven seconds safety. Heal scroll one more time. How do you get the Demon Hunter out? Needs a stab soon. And then of course the damage is a lacking little bit of healing, but he must get out of that fight soon. There we go. And Kaho is down to 40 food and dropping. That bear won't be saved either. Level three, level two, happy on a warpath. Lower bracket semi-final getting closer and closer. Oh man, he was certainly sweating this series after losing map 4. We all thought the miracle might happen today. But the miracle of 2024 not quite occurring on this March day. At least not looking like it right now. Cow is far behind. He's down in supply. With the Fire Lord being a bad leg and hero, you need to be up in supply. You need to have a lead. But the lead now is clearly with Happy. Kiting from range doesn't want to give this game away as perhaps he gave away Turtle Rock. Statue's doing a fine job trying to take out ghouls that works, but only 3.7. How can you recover from this? It's not like Happy didn't lose anything, but it was just ghouls. And that's the red spot for him now. That's another consumable that's bigger levels and shop control. Kao looking for his opportunity. He knows he needs to make something miraculous work here. Right, owned by these fiends. The yeah. count now at four. Quite impressive. Not many bears at all. Damage output here on Kao's side seems to be minimal. What is it really? A bit of incinerate, a bit of, a lot of venom. Naga dropping low, but there's health stone. There was a heal potion, invo potion as well. Happy this time protecting his heroes very well. So we put a kill on the other side. Oh, he has to go for one now. Demon Hunter trying to kill the DK. Is there any chance? Not really. Movement too good into safety, but there's nothing to save the Fire Lord. Happy extinguishes the first hero and also Kaho. He was for the second time this tournament. One map away of being eliminated, but the big D, he does it again and advances into the lower bracket semifinal. Okay, would have been a very big surprise to not see Happy in the top four. He does make it today. But damn, Kaho did put up a fight. Did make this very close. Like he has done many times before. Unfortunately, again, not rewarded with a win. What is the comeback, though? After those first two maps, I thought all hope of living had left his body. But a great recovery by him. Two maps taken. Happy again. Pushed to the very brink. But Happy again.